so in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I make this little watercolor travel kit. Let's get started. You will need a little tin container. This is a Tommy Hilfiger like wallet case, but I do recommend using an Altoids candy box because this one ended up being a little big. You'll need some liquid watercolors. These were like $3.99 at Hobby Lobby. They were very, very inexpensive because I wanted to make this very affordable to make. And you will need some clay. Um, I'm just using some clay that I had at my house. I ended up mixing a bunch of colors, so um, yeah, so you just need some clay, some uh, oven clay. Now this next one's completely optional. If you don't want your watercolors to crack once they dry, you, I've heard that you can put some honey with your watercolors and mix it up, but I didn't end up doing it, so, but you can do that if you want. And I want to show you guys that you can make this um, little watercolor kit out of an eyeshadow palette. This is a really cheap one. You could just take out the eyeshadows and put your watercolors in that if you wanted to do that. So yeah, you can use a little eyeshadow palette or pretty much anything, but I really wanted to do it this way because I saw this on Pinterest, so that's what I chose to do. So right now I'm kneading the clay to get it a little soft because it needs, it needs to be softened. It was pretty hard, so that's what I'm doing right now. show you guys two ways that you can do this. This first way is creating dividers by making like little walls in your tin can. And um, so yeah, I'm just using the clay to create dividers. And, I mean, you can see me doing it. It's pretty self-explanatory. of the inside of the tin because I thought maybe it would prevent water from seeping out. Um, I wasn't really sure, I just thought I would do that. So as you can see, I'm making slots, little wells for the paint to go, and you can make them as big or as small as you want. These are pretty big, but you know, it just depends on what you want. So this is one version. The second version is the one that I ended up going with, but I have to say that the first version would be lighter. The second version is a little bit, it makes it heavier because you're using more clay. So. What I'm doing is I'm just putting clay on the bottom of the entire tin. I started off in little sections though. And I'm just creating little wells with my finger. But as you can see, I went all the way down to the bottom of the tin. After I made it, I realized that I shouldn't have done that. I should have just made a little indent in the clay, not made the hole touch the bottom of the tin. Like you can see the bottom of the tin and the hole because the paint did seep through to other colors through the bottom so yeah don't make the hole go to the bottom and now I'm just adding more clay and creating more holes and I should have just put all the clay in at once but I didn't I wasn't sure if I wanted to cover the whole bottom of the tin with the clay, but ended up doing that anyway. in the oven at 330 degrees for I think 15 to 20 minutes. Your clay should have instructions of how long to leave it in the oven. So after it came out of the oven I realized that I really hated the color of the clay and I wanted it to be white so I painted over the clay part 
put a, cup, a couple of coats of white paint and gesso and then went over the whole thing twice with a clear nail polish to make sure that the paint wouldn't just like scratch off. So it may seem kind of dumb to do that. Just make sure that whatever clay you use, you like the color of because I didn't like the color of mine. So then the only thing you need to do is put your liquid watercolor into the little slots that you made. So I made a bigger slot for white because I figured I'd be using that quite a bit like when I mix colors. So yeah, and then I just decided to mix some colors together because I had more slots than you know, the paints that I had. So yeah, I'm just mixing them and putting the paint where it needs to go. If you do this, I really do recommend using Altoids candy tin container because this one ended up being really big and bulky and pretty heavy actually. So I felt like it wasn't convenient to travel in because it, it was really heavy. And Altoids containers are really small. Um, and you know, you do the same thing, just smaller. And I think that'd be a ton better. Because these watercolors are extremely inexpensive, they will crack when, when they dry. I already tested these watercolors out. So if that's going to bug you, what you can do is add a little bit of honey or vegetable glycerin to your watercolors when they're still wet, and that'll like prevent them from drying. But I thought this video might be helpful to some people that may already have a bunch of liquid watercolors and don't know what to do with them, or if you just feel like having a little watercolor kit that you could just throw in your purse or take you know with you when you travel. And here is the end result. I hope you guys have fun making your little watercolor kit. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!